Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is a cryptogram. So I'm going to start with crypt. Ooh, okay. So the right word probably ends in Y. So we can consider that green. So both basically have a yellow and a green. I'm going to guess the right or the left word in that case, because I, I don't really care where that Y goes right now. Is it like ending in RT perhaps? I could guess smart. That might be a smart guess. Oh, okay. Got the S. Both words have an S. Um, what's left here? S something something RT. S what? SL? Slort? Slurt? Slurt? No. SN? I don't see... So oh, snort. So it could be snort. If snort is wrong, though, I learn very little. So let's look at this right word, see if we can get something like... Um, like, is it an STY, maybe? It's not the ASTY trap, because there's no A. Is there a different vowel that can go there, like I-S-T-Y, O-S-T-Y? We could do, like, busty. Okay, it is S-T-Y. Um, now it's not, I mean, I might as well just guess snort now. Of course it's not snort. Sport, no. Uh, short, okay, I should have realized there were a bunch of those. S-T-Y is green. We could use an E or an I. Zesty? There we go. Short zesty. <laughs> okay. Well, let's do fibble. Each lie has exactly one, sorry, each guess has exactly one lie in it. <laughs> um, and so maybe this U should have been green or yellow, or maybe this C should have been gray or yellow. We don't know which one's lying, but we know exactly one lies. I'm going to guess uncle, because that has the U lying. I like to have vowels lie if possible. And then... CLE is just correct for those. So what did we learn here? You oh okay, so the C's are lying. Or not not necessarily both, but at least one C is lying because they disagree. Right? Lucky says C's in the word, Uncle says C's not. So one of them has to be lying, which means the U's cannot be lying because they're both agreeing. So I could continue doing a CLE word, and I just would have to include a K or a Y. So I'm going to try cycle. I have expected cycle to be correct. Oh, interesting. Okay, one of these L's is lying, which means we can now say that these C's are not lying and these E's are not lying. That means this C was lying. We know there's an L in the word. So I am starting to think we are CL. This would be our lie. And then the Y would be the lie. This would be CL. No, the Y cannot be lying. Sorry which means this is lying, which means that's probably not lying. Okay, let's, unfortunately I have to start over because I don't remember what was true and what was guaranteed true or not. Let's not make any assumptions here. These L's lying means no C. No C means that's our, our lie. Um, no Y means that can't be lying. Oh, no C at all means that's our lie. Okay, that's the mistake I made. I don't know why I did thought that that C could be in. This should have been yellow if that C was in. Okay. So that means that L is the lie. Okay, I have all the lies. Okay, did it right this time. So there's no C in the word. Um, double letter tripped me up there for a second. I'm going to put L second, and I'm going to put E at the end, and we're going to do new letters. There's a lot of them. Let's try slime. Well, we know this L is lying. So we got one letter. We're L-I-E. Let's try... What are we doing? Like G-L or P-L? BL? I can't think of a word. FL? Oh, glide. Glide works. This E is lying. Okay, so it's not GL. <laughs> There's also no D. Uh, FLI? This is just a wordle at this point. <laughs> um, I just can't think of the word for some reason. Um, sorry, I'm sure you're yelling it. BLI? Blight? Okay, well, this I is lying, which means we are... <laughs> We are L-I-T-E. Plight, flight. None of the that's not how you spell them, right? Oh, maybe a light? No. Oh, elite. Elite. Repeating the E. Oh, that was actually tough. Okay, finally. Got elite. <laughs> Let's move on to betweenal here. We'll start with elite. Alright, we're 51% away from the end. 24% away from E. Okay, so what do we want to guess here? That means we're, we're about halfway, um, a little bit further than halfway away from the end, though. So lucky we know is about exactly halfway. So let's try 
uh starting with uh no let's start start with l for sure um let's try limit maybe i don't know oh a little bit too far okay um luc is too far i know lucky is 50 percent. so l o then um what can i do with l o loose Oh, pff, wow. Loose in three. <laughs> I'll take it. That's very lucky, though. <laughs> if I'd started with lucky, we would have been 1% away from lucky. But anyway, I mean, we, we, we know that lucky is 50%, so we can still use it to our advantage, even if we don't guess it, which is kind of neat. All right. Well, I have to start Word 500 with loose, which is unfortunate. Double letters. At least it's all red. At least if it was one yellow, I'd be sad. Um, okay, so let's, let's do a mix of common uncommon. Um, what should I do? Uh, I'm trying to think of a good word. Something like jazzy <laughs> would be pretty fun, just because we can assume there's no J or Z. I don't think that's the best option, but it would be fun. Um, the other option is just to go for very common letters and hope for a, a lot of results out of it. Like, I don't know, chair, I don't know, probably something like TR, trick. Um, sure, let's just go with trick. There we go. One yellow. Of course, one yellow. We're going to use the vowel. Um, just got to move it. All new letters otherwise. I thought of panic, but there's no C in this case. Music, no. I can't do IC. What am I doing? Like ID? Can't do valid. I could do vapid. That works. All red. Okay, so that means there's no I in the word. Um, we're not ER. We can't do ST. I'm trying to think what letter I'd want. So A, E, I, O are guaranteed not in the word. Okay, so I'm going to guess hurry, which uses the R as yellow, and we, we use both the U and the Y. Two greens, one yellow. I'm going to say, what am I going to say? I'm going to say that we start with R. R, U, something, something, Y. Like rummy? Rugby. Rugby. There it is. Nice. That was a that was a pretty good solve. I like getting all reds. It helps so much. <laughs> all right. Well, let's do polygonal. We've got hexpert on. It is an eight letter word today, and this this the only repeat is this letter, which appears three times. I never know whether whether to say it repeats twice. Or whether it appears three times, or does it repeat three times? I don't know. Um, if I did ing, it doesn't feel like I can do something, but like I could do maybe like sna something or snow, snowning. Um, it doesn't doesn't feel good to me. All right, let's clear that out. What about something like a like an er or e, let's put ed in there. We could do like re something re and then ending in ed re. It's always tough when there's only the one repeat. Um, received can't be received. It's close to being able to be received. Relieved. Oh. <laughs> um, what is this word? Why is it not instantly coming to me? Wellever, tellever, yellever, pellever, believer, believer. There it is. I just had to say it enough times for my brain to go, it's Believer. <laughs> How many options were there here? 23 words. That repeat is almost always the E. Virginia is an exception. Interesting. Okay. Cool. EDs, ESs, ERs mostly. Castaway. Ooh, that's fun. It's a good movie too. All right, let's do the mini. This repeats. I don't know. Um... Apply. That's fun. There's a P. Um, seeps. Oh, I can't repeat the S there. Um, see, I don't know if I should like repeat an E here. Peers. Why not? Okay, it's P, maybe double O. It's got to be a double vowel, so probably double O. <laughs> uh, poo what? <laughs> I don't know. Pooch? That's what it was. Okay, nice. 
Let's do symbol. We'll start with blaze. We're going to test to see if L is second with sling. L is second. We start with an I, N, or G. Probably G, L then. Um, glory. I like that. All right, it's G, L, and then an R or a Y. So it's a glyph for sure. Yeah. Nice. Glyph is a fun word. Uh, getting glyph in four is actually really nice. <laughs> okay. Well, let's do fusel. So we're going to start with a lie in glyph. Let's see what it lies about. Yellow Y is actually kind of reasonable. In fact, this twist, we're only going to get greens. We don't get yellows. So I don't mind doing double L and then Y where it's supposed to be. And then maybe something like goalie. All right, the U and the Y are correct. I think there's just no L. I think the lie is there's no L in the word. Um, so here I'm not allowed to guess B, F, H, J, M, or P, which does limit us. Um, I want to do funky, but we can't do the F. So I could just do sunny. All right, still just the U and the Y. This twist, we don't learn what, that this U is green. <laughs> so basically no twist on this, if we do a hard mode guess. Um, maybe something like ducky. Okay, so it's U and then something KY. Unfortunately, here this is forcing us to guess SMI something. So what can we actually learn that's going to be helpful here? Um, I honestly don't know. I mean, we could guess smile. But Smith, maybe? And we know there's no H. I'll guess smite. Just get the T and the E. Oh, it gave us the M. So is it M-U something K-Y? Murky? Nice. All right. Cool. Well, those are the games for today. Uh, definitely check out the Cryptogram video and my Adoptal video if you'd like to watch more word games. And how'd you do? Let's decode this cryptogram. It's a quote from Henry James. So we have a singular K here. We don't have um, another single letter word. So this is A or I. I'm going to try A here. It feels more appropriate. Um, is this the? Like starting a quote with the seems reasonable. It's also repeated here. So let's just put the. Oh, but then this is E-H. E-H-A, yeah, I don't like the. So we have a different three-letter word repeated. I'm not sure what it would be then. Could this one be the? Does that look reasonable? Certainly more re No, H-T is not reasonable. Okay. So G or B is a vowel. I could see either of these working as... But if, if A is used up, we're not going to be and. So I think the middle letter being a vowel makes more sense. An O or an I. So it really could be any vowel. All right. Would this be as or an? At. There's a lot of options. This, the, okay, N is probably a vowel because this Q here is a consonant after A. And so let's see. These, these not lining up is bothering me. I wonder, wonder if that can be fixed. <laughs> um, especially over here, the longer, the longer the word is, the less it lines up, which is very frustrating. I like I because I like trying to end an ING here. Let's see what that, oh, that makes this IG. Okay, how about IST then? I-S-T. Because that makes this IT AT. Oh, IT AT. I could see IT AT happening, but it's weird. Um, so what are we doing here? I, I need something else to latch on to, like these three-letter word. This three-letter word that repeats twice. This three-letter word, Z-M-O. This letter is twice, and it's this Z. I don't know if I like this I-S-T. I think I might I think I might remove that. Hmm. What's my in here? Maybe is a hmm. S I. The only word I like sit or sin or sip. There's a few options. Okay. I don't know that I want to keep this in though. Is a So this would be this has to be a consonant because it's after A here. Double letter here. 
double letter here. Interesting. Ooh, what is that word then? I'm going to see if we can end in double L. Does that put L any? It doesn't put L. It means we don't have L anywhere else. And then what's this double letter? Would this be double L? And then this could be double S? No, we already used the S here. I'm going to get rid of is. I do think G is a vowel, though. This was double S. I'm not, I'm not thinking of a word there. I can't think of any word that, that has double letters like this. Double R, maybe? And then double L? That doesn't make sense to me. This would be a vowel. This O being a vowel. Um, so it's not O then, because letters don't map to themselves. So I like either E or I here. Caress? That's not how you spell caress, and I already used A. Um, I, I really don't think that's how you spell caress, is it? It would be I caress. Anything obviously wrong? REI is a bit strange. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that I like that. What about like in un? Because this does start, this would start with E. This could be like enter. Oh, we can't use the R. Okay, I'm going to end in ESS here, but I'm not going to put this double letter in yet. Could this be enter? I'm not sure. What about this word? ING word, maybe? Hearing? You know, that that kind of works. Ooh, E-H, though. Um, it doesn't have to be hearing. I want this to be great, though. Reading a great... Okay, finally something to latch on to. Reading a great deal? Her. I-O-N. Ah, her something. I, I don't know why the word's not coming to me. Her something, re something, a, re, not relation or anything like that. For predilection is kind of the word I'm thinking of. For reading a great deal. Hung. About her like the clouds. No, cloudy. Envelope. Oh, I got it. Oh, reputation. Her reputation for reading a great deal hung about her like the cloudy envelope of a goddess in an epic. Henry James. Well, those are the games for today. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.